I'm going to break away here just for a bit to bring up a little side issue that I've kept my mouth shut about. Another one. About the point of fanboys. Yes, we do have fanboys. Many of us do. However, they are not our responsibility, no matter how many times you say they are. We only post videos. We don't tell people to do our bidding. It ticks us off when people accuse us for the actions of our fans when we don't do a fucking thing to order them around. Most of us have well over 3,000 subs. Do you honestly expect us to babysit every single one of them? Really? Really? Are you kidding me? I also hear from people like Metal Mouth and Velocity that if we can't control them ourselves, we could at least make a video addressing them. No, j just no. That doesn't work, and I'll tell you why. Our fans have a mindset of their own. Even if we told them not to flame people or attack people that are being dicks to us, they still do it. Look what happened to Lily and Azap. She didn't say anything, but people helped her out anyway. Not because she's an attention whore, but because they liked her and cared about her. Saying that we can control them by making a video is stupid, because if we do and they still attack everyone else, then in your mind it would still be our fault because we apparently didn't do a good enough job or were sending a mixed signal. Look what happened to James Rolfe, or the AVGN. He made a video talking about the Nostalgia Critic as the AVGN, calling him nasty names and making fun of him. But all throughout this video, he plastered the message, This is satirical. This is a joke. This is a parody. Don't take it seriously. He did this at least five times throughout the video, and he even plugged Douglas Walker's website to show that he and him were on good terms and they were just messing around. However, that didn't stop the fanboys from flooding Douglas Walker's website and fucking over its bandwidth to the point where he had to shut it down for several days. The only time where I have seen someone have complete control of their fans is when they go, Hey guys, I need money for a new computer even though this one works completely fine, and they give it to them. Then you have the other end of the spectrum, people going, you need to make videos that people like, or else you need to leave. What's the point of staying on this website if you're not even going to make videos pleasing your fans? I have said this over and over again. These channels are ours. I don't know how clear I can make that. If we don't want to make certain videos, it's our choice to do so, not yours. Yes, we are known for making certain videos. I, myself, am known for rants. Random DCE was, at a point, known for Handy Danny Guides. Darkness is known for his reviews. However, there comes a time where we get sick of making the same type of video over and over again, and we want to switch it up. Saying something like, if DCE doesn't want to make videos that myself and other people enjoy, he needs to leave, is such a pretentious thing to say, and 9 times out of 10, the person saying it can't make entertaining videos worth a damn. You can't come on here and tell us what videos to make and what videos we can't make, you pretentious ass. You are saying, you are basically saying that we need to be bound by our fans and do everything that they say. You know become slaves, but when we make videos that we enjoy making and tell people that we don't feel like making certain videos, which, by the way, we shouldn't have to give out a fucking explanation as to why, we need to leave. No, we don't need to leave. Some people don't seem to realize why we joined for YouTube in the first place. It wasn't for subs, it wasn't for attention, and it sure as hell wasn't for money. We joined to be a part of a community and make friends. YouTube is kind of like a forum, except you post videos instead of text. At least that's the way I see it.